welcome back to another video. So today's video is a video I've never actually done before. So today I'm going to be like, I guess, having my first impressions slash reaction to the Sims 4 Cats and Dogs Create a Pet official game trailer. Now I've never, again, like I said, never done a reaction type video before, but I've always wanted to do one, but I've just always watched the trailers as they came out and I couldn't wait to just uh, sit down and record. So we're going to go ahead and watch it through together and see what is up, and uh, yeah, I'm so excited. Okay, so let's go ahead and- I'm, I don't even know, I'm just- okay, I'm going to press the play button. Okay, shut up. In the Sims 4 Cats and Dogs expansion pack, you can make the perfect companion for your Sims with the new Create-A-Pet tool. Oh my Choose God. a breed, give them distinct personalities, and make these cats and dogs your own. <gasps> Welcome to Brindleton Bay, the new pet-friendly world in cats and dogs. Meet Jay and Kira. These newlyweds are ready for their first furry companion. Let's dive into Create a Pet. Start by choosing a cat or dog. Small dog, big dog, and a quick search. Golden Retriever. Aww. You can choose a tail, change their coats, patterns, fur length, and more. And for the first time ever, you can dress up your pets in the height of fashion and tasteful accessories. And just like in real life, cats and dogs are so much more than their pedigree. Giving them traits lets you choose how they will behave. Smart dogs will learn tricks and commands faster. A mischievous cat will find trouble in oh any Oh my god, home. no. There are many traits to choose from. Is Panda. your sim a music lover? Vogel pets will accompany your budding virtuoso. Oh Let's give Lulu the friendly, playful, and active traits. She just can't wait to play fetch. Good girl. Meet Katarina. She's oh a totally normal cat person. Me. And with only three cats. Mr. Bubblesworth, Lady Meowmore, and Charles. Charles? There's still plenty of room in this home for even more feline love. Let's create something more exotic. Use the breed mixer to play with oh, genetics. You can modify a pet's face. Just push and pull. Shape their ears choose their eye colors, and even really pick their that. whiskers. The new paint mode lets you create truly unique cats, dogs, kittens, amazing. and puppies. <gasps> Puppy! Go deeper with stamps and stencils to create a more fantastical companion and unleash your creativity. So cute. Aww, <laughs> RGB Kitty is right at home here in Casa Caterina. <laughs> Create the cats and dogs of your dreams and make your sim a best friend for life. Oh my god. That is like the cutest thing ever. I cannot get over at how adorable this... Oh, I just, I can't wait. Hold on. Let's, okay, let's go ahead and quickly, like, go through this here. Yesterday, I know a lot of creators who went to Sims Camp released their Create a Pet and Create a Sim footage, and, um, I know, I knew about some of the stuff that we was shown. Uh, in those videos, you get a full look at all the traits that you get for cats and dogs. I might do a video on that, I'm not sure. I mean, it depends if you guys would like to see that, um, but if you guys are really interested, you guys can go ahead and check out their videos because uh, there's so much footage out there now about create a pet and the create a sim items we get which i haven't even looked at the create a sim items yet so i've only seen like a few things uh but other than that it's a complete mystery to me but this world looks so amazing i'm absolutely in love with it this looks like it could be a i'm assuming this is going to be like a community lot i mean this would be amazing yeah i think this is going to be a community lot because there's um picnic tables and oh my this just looks so amazing imagine if we were able to use boats this this whole this, this whole thing just gives me the vibes of sims 3 island paradise how you were able to have like a houseboat or even um the taxis on the water like oh my imagine if we were able to do that that'd be amazing i know this is cats and dogs expansion pack but i'm still hoping <laughs> uh, but look at this like it just looks so pretty I don't know, like, I'm really excited to see what these houses look like. I was thinking that this was going to be more like Appaloosa Plains, but it's definitely more, it gives, it's giving me more vibes of, like, um, uh, Twinbrook or Sunset Valley, kind of. So, oh my god, this looks so awesome. Wow. I'm like, I can't wait to see what kind of build items we're going to be getting as well. And look at that. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, this is the only outfit that I know that we're getting is overalls. And I'm super excited for that because I've been wanting overalls in The Sims for such a long time. I have custom content ones, but this is just so cool. Like, look at how pretty this is. Like, you have bridges and... I wonder if this is like a park kind of area. I mean, obviously it's not a park, but I wonder if this would be considered kind of like a park area where people like walk their dogs. I wonder if these are like the, oh, what are they called? Not booths. Well, I'm going to call them booths because I can't remember exactly what they're called in city living where people like sell stuff. It kind of reminds me of that. I'm not sure if these are actually functional, but I can't really tell if there's a sim there or not. Yeah, so this definitely looks like some sort of park for sure. So you've got the bathrooms here. Oh my god, look at the little toddler with the Dalmatian. Guys, I'm way too excited for this. I can't. Look at that sweater. Oh my god. That is so cute. <laughs> Although I don't think I'd actually wear that ever. <gasps> look at this bracelet. I've never noticed that before. It's like a cat bracelet with the tail. Oh my god, and I absolutely love this hair. I feel like we don't have a lot of curly hairs like that. But we have so many breeds of cats and dogs it's insane like you can even search for the ones that you're looking for like i swear that there's like over a hundred plus uh breeds for dogs i know i'm not sure about cats but i know that there's a lot and look at all these costumes like look at that you can even the taco hold on let's see if we can get more glimpses of this so there's like the shark and then oh my this is like the llama thing Oh, this is adorable. Guys, I'm just, I'm freaking out too much about this. Look at that, the bow tie. I just love how angry this cat is. Like, that's like my favorite thing. <gasps> Unicorn, what? I think I just missed one. It's just, it goes by so fast. Hold on, let me put this on slower, slow motion for a second. Look at that. Oh my gosh, sushi and a dinosaur. What is that? Is that like, it kind of looks like a dragon. That's another hood. Taco. Oh my god, a grilled cheese. These are so cute. The shark. Oh my god. Oh wow. And you could actually have just a bandana. Look, <laughs> the cat looks so unhappy. Oh my gosh, St. Patrick's Day. And the traits. There's so many traits, like prowler, clever, aloof. There's so many more. Um, I actually might do a video on that. If you guys are interested, I would definitely consider doing that if you guys aren't aware of what is in it. But, ooh, this is so cool. I, I'm wondering if they're going to do trailers for, like, the veterinarian or if they're going to do a stream on that. Um, it would be pretty cool to see how it's going to work, unless they're saving that for people to just do hands-on when they get the game. Uh, but I'm pretty sure they're probably going to do some sort of stream because they usually do a stream to uh, show off, like, the new expansion pack or packs in general. I'm really curious to see if the cats are able to mess up the couches to the point that you have to replace them, which I don't think that they would. I wonder if the, just the scratches just stay. I'm really just interested to see um, how it is. <laughs> like, And this, look how cute, it's a panda dog. So you have like the treats uh, jars and the bag of food. I wonder if those are just, um, those are just like decoration. Wait, does that mean we have new chairs? Are these new? I don't know, I'm not really familiar with all, every single uh, build item. But it, it seems new to me, but maybe it's not. I'm probably wrong. <gasps> Look at that. This set bedside table. It has paws on it. <gasps> Wait, is this a brand new bed too? Hold up. Girl, can you move for a second? No, it must be. Because there's feet, like, as the bed. Oh, but, <gasps> so we get a new, like, big plushie as well. And curtains. Look at those bones on that. Oh, my God. Guys, I'm... And this is definitely a new dress, I'm assuming, too, because there's cats on it. Oh my god, there's going to be so much stuff. Yes, okay, so it's a brand new dresser here, and a, definitely a b brand new bed, because you have the cat ears here. Oh my god. I'm so happy that the cat dogs and cats can sing with the person who's playing. And we got a new calendar, too. We know that we can play uh, fetch with our dogs, which is awesome, so I'm happy about that. Um, oh, and you can see it back here, there's a dog digging for stuff. <laughs> Oh my gosh. 
why is this me i have personally I have four cats which is a bit excessive but i love them so dearly but i promise i'm not a crazy cat lady okay maybe slightly like on the verge <laughs> i don't know but oh my gosh this is just this is just oh like this is the epitome of crazy cat lady so we have so many cat items here. We have some wall decor. We got a poster here. So here we have the nightstand uh, that matches with the other set. Look at this. Look at this. What is this called? Like a cat tree or something? I can't remember. Oh my god. So I'm guessing we have two different types because this one looks a bit smaller. And then we have this large one. And we get to play with a laser. We have some more cat toys. So here's another box. And then we have a toy box here. And then we have another style of the curtains here. Look at the cat's face. <laughs> oh my. This looks like so much fun for the cats. I can't wait to play with all of this. Oh yeah, and the fact that we're able to mix breeds, I didn't think we were like we were able to, but that is so awesome. So like if you have like a Labradoodle, you can go ahead and mix those two breeds together, Labrador and the Poodle, and then you can get make yourself a Labradoodle. Like that's awesome that you can do that. Oh yeah, we're able to change the whisker colors. So the cool thing is that you're able to mirror. So like, let's say if you do something on this side, it'll do the same thing on the other side of the pet. And you can also switch it so that um, you can only do, like you can do like one design on this side and then one design on the other side. You can customize it however you want. So look at that. And they also give you these little like templates for designs. Like you see, like they have the freezer bunny, the plum bob, the fish, and there's many other ones as well. When I was watching the videos, uh, like, look at that. You can just give your ca cat a pattern. <laughs> or you could put paws on your pug. And I really do love this. I wish this pack was coming out before Halloween, but of course it's not. But this would be such a perfect, like, little paint thing for a cat. A skeleton cat. I can't even believe you can do this to your dog. Like, you can dress them up however you want. Well, paint them. I mean, for that matter. And this puppy is so adorable. <gasps> Oh my god, the fact that the toddlers can interact with the dogs as well is also a really nice perk because I didn't think that they were going to. I don't know if this is a new couch. It could possibly be. <gasps> Wait, but this is a new fishbowl. Am I right? Or am I wrong? Because I don't think I've ever seen this. Oh, and then we have the window seat as well. That's another thing. Wow, look at that. This house, I love this house. Oh yeah, and we get new roofs as well. This world definitely looks like a fun place. I don't know why this house gives me kind of barn feels and I feel like there should be horses, but I know there isn't. Uh, but just the setup of this, like with the fences here and the way this roof is here definitely gives me barn vibes, but oh my goodness, I'm so excited. November 10th, guys. I'm curious to see if they're going to be releasing any other trailers. If anything, maybe I'll make a video on it if you guys are interested. But anyways, guys, that is all I have for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll talk to you guys in a new video very soon. Bye, guys.